This instructional video will teach you how to assemble and care for your magic ornaments. Let's first get started with our ball magic ornament. The first few times that you will make one will be a learning curve, after which you will be making them like a pro. As you're making your ball magic ornament, if you get stuck or you run into a tangle, you don't want to yank on or pull on the ribbon hard because you could risk damaging your magic ornament. Instead, find where the tangle is, fix it, and continue. So first, you take your ball flat sheet and you hold it with both ribbons and stoppers in your hand and you pull on them. Now, if you see any kind of a tangling as you've been doing this, you'll want to untangle those before you continue. And then you start to pull on one side until the ribbon has reached the end of the other side. You now have your beautiful ball having formed, and you will take the stopper from the other side, and you will pull on it until it reaches the end of your ball to hold your ball and its shape in place. Now you have your ball and you're ready to hang it. Now there are several different ways of hanging a magic ornament ball. You can either just take it, imagine this is the uh, tree branch, you could just wrap it around and hang it like that and you'd have a beautiful ribbon hanging or you could take it and wrap the ribbon around your branch so that it is in place like that, hanging from your ornament. Or what you can do is you can take your ribbon and make a noose knot with it to create a little hook. You will take the ribbon make a knot by pulling on it like that. Hold it as close as you can to the ball so that the knot is as flush against the ball as possible. And then you can adjust the length of the noose like that. And now you have yourself a little hanger. And you can now just take the remaining ribbon and conveniently push on this to open it up and tuck it away to hide it. And you're done. You now have a beautiful hanging ball that you can be hanging from your tree. Now when you're ready to put it away, you just do the reverse. You take your ribbon out, undo the knot, and you pull the stopper as far to the end as possible. You then pull your ball towards the center of your ribbon, about there, and you start to unravel it, making it all flat again, and you're done. Now, next year, if you wanted to have the other color, what you can do is a couple of different things. You can take the ribbon and re-thread it so that it goes through in the opposite direction. Or a more simpler technique is simply if you take the ribbons that you have, the ends of them right here, and you tie them with one another. Like that. Now that they're tied, what you will do is take the other side that we had and pull it as we had done before. Now you see, instead of a red ball forming, our silver ball forming. Ta-da! Now what you can do in order to hold it in place is you have these detached stoppers that you can use. You take them, you put them onto your ribbon, and it holds the ribbon in place. You take the other stopper, you put it on your ribbon, and you position it like 
like that. Now that you have your ball and it's now a different color, you can go ahead and feed the ribbon through the opening that we have here and continue with the techniques that we just discussed earlier with how to create the ribbon into a hanger. And this way you now have a different color magic ornament. When you're ready to put it away, again, you will take it apart and go through the same process over again as we did before. Ta-da! Now, the next item that I'd like to demonstrate is our swirl. Now the swirl is a very similar magic ornament as the ball, but it involves a few additional steps. First what you will do is you will take it on one side and you will pull on the ribbon like this all the way to the end. You will take one of your stoppers. It, these have two stoppers in them inside as well as the two that you have on the outside of the balls. The balls don't have inside ones. The swirls do. You will push the stopper until it reaches the end. So it's kind of doing a sandwich. You have one stopper on the outside one stopper on the inside that are holding our swirl in place. Then you will take the tab that you have and put it in the hole in order to secure it in place. Like that. Right? Now that our tab is in place, we can go ahead and pull on the other side. We will pull the ribbon on this side. Again, if there are any tangles, you want to untangle them before you proceed to avoid damaging your magic ornament. There you have your swirl. Now, you could be hanging it either in this way or you could be hanging it in this way. Or, as with the ball ornament, you could be turning this one inside out as well. The same technique that you had used with the ball ornament, you will use for this one to turn them inside out. Only difference being, you no longer need the separate tabs because you have tabs already built in on the inside. So now that we're done with our swirl ornament, next you have the Star of Bethlehem tree topper. With this, you will fan out the star like so, and you will push the stopper all the way till it is against the star, and you're done. Your beautiful star is assembled. Now, in order to mount your star on your tree, you will need the aluminum wire that has come with your set. You will take your wire, straighten it out, and you will insert it at the bottom of your Bethlehem star until it can't go any further. Now you have the wire sticking out and you will be able to take the wire and twist it around the top of your tree to have your star snugly affixed to your Christmas tree. Now the next item that I would like to demonstrate is the angel. It comes flat as you see and it needs to be curved in order to become 3D. We're going to take her and we're going to start curving her like this and we're going to want to insert the slot that is here into the slot that is here. 
So we're going to take it, we're going to take it, and we're going to arrive at the other slot. And it went in. Now, as you'll find, there are also many little slots that are right here. We're going to also want to insert those as well. So we insert first the wings. Next, we are going to insert these slots internally. So we're going to take these slots and we're going to make them go inside of one another like that. And as we adjust it so that the wings become equal height to one another and the bottom lines up, we have created like a cone shape from her. Now, the only thing remaining is to fix her hands. We take her arms and we fold them down like this. And we take the other one and we fold it down like this. And now that we have her hands, she's going to kind of do a prayer. So we're going to insert the two slots into one another. You want to be careful because this is not plastic. This is metalized paper and take care not to tear it. So now she has her hands in front of her and she is complete and ready for placement on any of your Christmas tree branches. Last item is the star. Now the star is pretty much like this, ready to hang if you'd like, or you could give it various levels of three-dimensionality. The way to do so is you will find that there's actually two sheets here. And if you take them, you could kind of separate them out from one another like this. Now if you're doing this, you could then take each of your fingers and put them on the edges and start pushing on it to make it bulge. Now if you see something like this happening, you could just push it in so that they are bulging in the direction that you want and take care on both sides that they're bulging in the right direction. And now you've made it into a very three-dimensional shape. Now, of course, you could have this be less 3D. You could have it being more 3D. If you want it really to be 3D like this, like seriously thick as you have, what you would want to do in that case to keep it in that shape is to affix a tape to the back of it. You take tape like this, and you'll fix it like this so that it is holding these, only two are necessary, these two together, and you're done. Your star is now very 3D and sticking out. But again, it could have been kept flat. It's up to you. Now that concludes our Magic Ornaments instructional video. We hope that they will bring you and your loved ones many years of beauty and joy. Merry Christmas.